Okay, lady, it is time for some web USB demos. We did one last week, but I thought it'd be good to recap. What is US, uh, web USB? What is web USB? Well, web USB is an interesting new ability of modern browsers that are built on Chromium to talk to USB devices. The hardware device that you plug into your computer, usually they're not accessible to web browsers, but web browsers can play sounds and they can you know, do microphone and video and of course display things. So why not add the ability to do hardware? And um, this is in addition to web MIDI, which is um, MIDI device access. This is yeah. general purpose USB access. And uh, we did some web MIDI demos. We did before. web MIDI demos, but which is which is good, and that's a very nice generalized USB protocol. But what if you wanted non MIDI devices okay. to talk on the web? So um, you can install one of the modern browsers that have support for this, and uh, access. USB devices, you do need to have a kind of a specialized USB uh, interface. It needs to be a certain type of descriptor for mm -hmm. the uh, browser to find it. But once you've got that going, you can just write JavaScript and then talk to hardware, which is great for making user interfaces without needing to learn like Tickle TK or Wix or you know, Qt or whatever. And uh, the browsers this is work in, uh, Chrome, Chrome, Edge, Opera. Yes, they're all built on Chromium. Okay. Uh, Chrome came first and then Edge is like, well, we're just gonna use their engine. Uh, Firefox is not supported yet, so that's something to watch out for. But chances are, uh, if you know you have Chrome installed, that okay. will do the job quite well. Next up, so there's Web USB, and then there's Tiny USB. What's Tiny USB? Tiny USB is the open source stack that uh, resident Adafruiter Hatak has been developing over the last few years, and we've uh, started using it much more earnestly. Um, it was initially just designed, okay, here's a USB device host stack for LPC chips. And then we ended up deciding, hey, let's use this for CircuitPython. So we've, you know, to add USB support to CircuitPython, we're using TeamUSB for the SAMD21, SAMD51, and NRF52840 to give us native support. So it's got USB CDC, it's got USB HID, it's got USB mass storage, mm -hmm. it's got USB MIDI, and now it has web USB. Web USB. And in the last, last couple months, we've um, updated the Adafruit SAMD board support package to allow you to use TeamUSB as the USB stack. Um, and the Nordic already uses the TeamUSB stack. So this is very exciting so because- we did a video. As we add more USB capabilities, especially ones, the, the Arduino USB stack is really good. There's, there's nothing wrong with it, love it. But it's very specialized for each chip. Um, TeamUSB lets us generalize that support more different so chipsets. Like we say we play nice with all device. We yes. possess all devices. <laughs> we um, play nice so with upcoming, all devices. the upcoming ESP32 S2, for example, yeah. the USB capable ESP32 will also have Teeny USB support. So we We're posted this. STM32 support. This was Feather. Yeah. And uh, we basically said like, oh, okay, you can, you know, type in the terminal. And this you wasn't can see an Arduino though. Yeah. Was, this was actually just Teeny USB with a main AVR GCC file. Yeah. So what's cool is it's now recently just pulled into our SAMD. Um, core so that you can now use it with ports like the Circuit Playground Express. Right. So we posted this video up, this was like last week, and uh, we said, hey, hey. Uh, Google folks, and it caught the attention of Riley, who works on WebUSB. Yes, yeah, a Think Lead developer of the Chrome. project, yeah. And we, we said, okay, cool, we're going to even do more demos. More, so, more. Um, here's the next demo for WebUSB. It uses, of course, Circuit Playground Express, yeah, and which is our more popular development board. Tiny USB. Tiny USB is running on it, and this is within Arduino, which is kind of which is kind of cool because okay. you can now we have an example pr project for Arduino, and remember, it's not just Web USB. You can do this with mass storage as well. At, at the same time, there's so many descriptors. You can have serial, Web USB, HID, MIDI, mass storage. Take your pick. Uh, like three to four different interfaces can be all added together to make very rich USB interface devices. Right. So we have Circuit Playground Express plugged into this computer. There you go. We have Tiny USB. This is running Chrome. I'm going to bring up the browser. This is okay. the browser. All right. So the first this thing, the first thing we, we got to do um, is uh, here's us. Hi. Hey, us. Hi. Um, I'm going to put us away just for a second until we get this going. So first Bye. up, we want to connect. Connect. So when you connect, it's going to say, hey. Here's devices that have the right kind of descriptor that you can connect to. So I'm gonna connect. Connect to it. All right. And then it turns green to let you know, oh. hey, you know, I've connected. But and I, now, but I want to do something else like change the color. Easy. All through a web interface. Click, no click way. the green dot. 
And this is just a classic color picker for JavaScript, yeah. right? This isn't, what's neat is that you can use all the stuff that has built into JavaScript already. And, uh, um, wow, so I'm just moving this around. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it immediately sends the colors out. That's so cool. So it's an instant and you see how yeah, fast it is. It's wonderful. Oh, that like makes it bright. Bright, it's dark. Oh, this cool. is cool. Yeah. So this is just showing data coming from a web browser and it's sending that data to the Circuit Playground Express. So I didn't even know this was going to be possible with this. This it's is the first time I possible. tried this, yeah. Well, Whee. it works. So this is all through a web browser. This is all crazy. through a web browser. So we think it'd be neat because it's like you can now do interfaces. Yeah. Like UI, like this would be kind of annoying to do in Qt, um, but what if you want to make a custom yeah. interface? Web mm. USB, I think, is a good alternative. And more browsers supporting than ever. You know, now you have like three browsers. I think Firefox will eventually support this. Yeah, well. sure. Also, it's not uncommon to like, you know, this is, you use Chrome. Like I use Chrome for a lot of specific things. When we things. do like the video yeah. hangout, like I have to use Chrome, Firefox doesn't work. Yeah. I like Firefox, but yeah, but it's, I, not, it's not universal. It's common f for me to switch multiple browsers throughout the day. And I think Chrome is the most popular browser. And then with Microsoft, uh, a lot of folks using the yeah. edge. This is like, this is, this is really good. Okay, well, um, this is super cool. So I guess we're going to continue to do demos. I'm going to, um, you know, tweet and at some of the Google folks. Yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing what web USB interfaces people come up with. Uh, this worked out really well. Yeah, I think the next demo we want to do is, okay, this one's very basic, and then we have the serial echo example, of course, very basic. But, you know, the next step, what, you, what we need is to do Formata, right? That's the, that's the key next step, yeah. is to have um, a full demo of sending and receiving all the data that you can, analog, button presses, uh, switch info, tone, all that stuff. I think it's like, this is black. Blue. It tries to do brown. Not bad. It tries. Well, yeah. Brown isn't really it's a, a color spectrum. that's easy to make. And then if you just wanted to use, like, crayons. I don't know. Yeah, they, they got crayons. Yeah. This is totally, like, skew morph party. Yeah. Hey, that's such a bad brown effect. Yeah, it does its best. And then it makes it okay. bright. You can All right, your well that, color. that's our demo. All right, thanks everybody. Okay, we'll be doing more and uh, let us know what other demos y'all come up with with WebUSB and TeenyUSB. Yep. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.